Hello, this is Leon Dale, and I am here to do a very quick rundown of math operators in Python. But I have a feeling these are common elsewhere. Let's start off with the four simple ones that will not take long to explain at all. The first we have addition, also known as plus, also known as the little cross sign. Is it two plus two? <laughs> equals four. Now, I'm not going to keep doing examples. I'm not going to be able to do these exponentials and search, but whatever. You know what plus is, and all it takes is this plus sign. Then you've got two, let's go with three A, three minus two equals one. That's the subscription. The subscription? Subscri this is subtraction, and we all know it. If you don't, please watch my other video, How Not to Be Stupid. Now, then we have two times multiplied by two equals three equals four. This is your multiplication. This is shift and eight on my keyboard. It should be rather similar on yours. And that is multiplication instead of the X. Don't use the X, use this asterisk sign. And then we have here uh, 10 divided by two equals five. And so this is our, this is our division sign, which is important to remember. This particular slash, <laughs> Is it a forward slash or a backslash? I really don't know. It's leaning forward. I would expect this is a forward slash. It's leaning forward. It's a forward slash. This slash is the one that is located at the bottom of your keyboard next to the shift key and to the right of the greater than slash period key, not the one above the enter key, which is leaning backwards and also contains the grep symbol above it, and that's above the return key. That's not the one. This is the forward-leaning slash that is sharing a key with the question mark. <laughs> that is division. And let me do a little bit of a switch around here. Let's skip one and go to the next one. The reason it's so important to remember that this is division is because the percentage sign that we used to use or we still use for to symbolize division out here in the real world in Python which is called modulo. And modulo, what it does is different from division. This will divide a number into a number and then return the remainder as an answer. So, and this is where my math skills are going to show how horrible they are. But if you had 10 with the modulo divided by 2, it would divide it, come up with 5. No, I can't remember how it works. But um, it does the division and returns the remainder. And it is not the usual division hence my mild confusion explaining exactly what Modulo does. I have learned Modulo, but I haven't come across the point where I needed to use it in order to gain a personal understanding. So I'm not going to pretend I really understand how it works, but technically speaking, it divides the first number by the second number, and instead of giving you the answer, it gives you the remainder. Anyway, moving on. Up here, back in order, we have two asterisks, which means exponential, exponentialization, as it says here. And this would be, uh, let's say, 10 to the power of 3. And if I remember from school, that would mean 10 with three zeros at the end. I'm certain that is incorrect. But exponential means to the power of. Um, 10 to the power of 3. Now, I thought you could write 10, where's that little creep? Shift 6, 3. I thought this was 10 to the power of 3. I'm going to have to do more research, but um, 
For now, what you need to know is that two asterisks indicate exponentiality. Now we have two slashes, forward slashes as it were, and these mean floor division. And um, floor division means that if I have five floor divide by two, you should get 2.5 in normal division. Because this is floor division, think of it like this. Uh, ceiling division would return an integer of three at the top, rounding up. Floor division returns an integer that rounds down, meaning that this answer would be two. So floor division returns an integer for this calculation, even if the result should be a decimal point. And because of that, five divide floor divided by two isn't 2.5, but two. If this was a ceiling division, um, five divided by two would end up being three as it would round up instead of rounding down. And um, as I've already attempted and failed to really convey the meaning of modulo, that's it for my math operators. And I know there are more, and as I learn them or come across them, I will try to show them, teach them. Um, if you are actually watching these videos, I plan one day, if this ever takes off or something, to redo everything with all the cards and texts and editing stuff that I'm not really into. At some point in the future, let me know in the comments below if you give a damn, and I might just do that. Uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one.